Hey YouTube, it's Annabelle. So I wanted to show um, how we have my daughter's toy corner organized. Okay, and I'm also going to do a video on how we have her learning stuff organized as well. But I wanted to do her toys first because I have gotten several questions on how we kind of do things and all that kind of stuff. Now I've showed this in a past video a long time ago and this is kind of how things have changed. Okay. So, um, I have like these three shelf, um, shelves <laughs> for her corner, and we, there's four of them, and we have them set up on our main floor, and um, the reason why we have these shelves is so um, we don't have toys everywhere. Um, we still end up having toys everywhere, but... Um, this is to kind of teach organization and how everything has its own place and things like that. So I just want to kind of cover what we have um, just generally. Okay, this bottom one is like transportation stuff. So there's cars and trucks and um, all that kind of stuff in there. Then there's two little pull toys. This is our animal bin. And then we've got a mailbox and then a little stacker down there. This is our baby bin. And then we have a Mega Bloks bin and this is a little baseball bat and ball. Then we have our um, like playhouse and we have our Mr. Potato Head and then those are animals and um, little figurines that go with the house. And then we also have a boat um, and a barn and then Elmo basket is back there. We have a train set and then we have little shape um, sorter things. We have this one. And we have this one, and so those shapes are in there. We have a little, um, like, box. All those are different sizes. I think there's eight of them, um, but different size boxes. So you can stack them and do everything. We've got letters. We have a little, like, princess little kind of beginning puzzle kind of story time kind of thing. And then we have two different stackers. And my daughter's favorite, um, like, VTech toy on the computer. Um, and then she also loves this one. So this is also on this level. Um, but it's a little gear thing. And then this is our music session section. So all, like, music and instruments and things with music are up here. Then we have... Um, books with paper pages. Um, we have a crate next to our um, chair that has all of her cardboard books and that I don't care if she gets into those um, by herself. But these, I do like to read these with her so she doesn't rip the pages out of them. And then we have puzzles. Um, this is a like 24 piece puzzle. These are her old like baby puzzles. But I still am leaving them with the puzzles because every once in a while she still likes to do them. Um, I think she's like really like proud of herself that she like mastered those a long time ago. But um, she still does them every once in a while. And that's her happy birthday cake play set. These are what we're working on for puzzles right now. Um, we're learning these. And these are 24 piece um, wooden puzzles. So we're working on putting two and three pieces together. And then these are all of our like VTech or Leapfrog um, toys that we have up here. And she has a little hippo step stool where she just pulls it up and she can get any of these as she wants. Um, these are kind of miscellaneous toys. Um, we have like Lincoln Logs. Those are like just random. Um, we have like a farm set. We've got dinosaurs. Um, that's empty right now because I just did toy rotation and put toys away, but these are random. She likes to play with all of this stuff. Um, these are little walkie-talkies that don't even work, but she loves them. A doorstop that she absolutely loves. An old remote that she absolutely loves. And then those are just some cards she likes to take out and um, like put all the Donalds together or um, put all the minis together or whatever. And then this is kind of a small um, bin for accessories for our dress up stuff. We have a bin in our closet that has all of her dress up things in it. She's got some fairy um, costumes, some princess costumes, and some just um, like just dress up clothes. And so this is kind of the accessories bin to that. There's necklaces and um, sunglasses and pom-poms and play money and play keys and things like that in here. Um, 
but otherwise um, I do toy rotation once a month the first week of every month is toy rotation and um, she does have some like writing toys and things like that um, but I try to rotate out her toys so then everything kind of stays fresh and new so that way she doesn't get bored. Um, but and then on the top, the very top shelf is all of her um, learning stuff and I will do a video on that next. Um, and then we have a coffee table. I'll really quickly show you guys this table. Okay, so this is our table that this also gets changed out every month. However, um, this table, like for the last two months, has looked like this. Um, my daughter did not want to have it changed um, in February. So it is going to stay up for another month. But we just have um, the ones that I showed in her two-year video. We have colors, shapes, letters, numbers, and then we have a little clock. And then that's her doodle pad that she loves. That toy never gets rotated out because she loves that toy. Um, so anyways, so usually this table when she was little, um, it was rotated out with different baby toys and things like that that she could walk around this table and I pulled this table out so she could like um, do her sidestepping all the way around it and just had random toys on it and this is kind of just growing with her so right now we're working on these puzzles and things and so in March it will change to um, some more um, like learning stuff but anyways, so that is kind of how we do toys and how we organize and rotate and everything like that. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how we kind of do her toys. Um, any questions or comments, leave them below. Bye, guys.